What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here again, 10 like a TIE is. Now, the lady that you see in front of you is uh, Melissa Hernandez. Uh, I just heard about this story yesterday about her on Dr. Phil. About how this 30 year old wimp, this 30 year old woman, has sex with the minor. Like she met this, she met this kid named T.J. Way. She met him when she was 28, and he's 17. That means you've been knowing him for two years. So 17, think about, t think two years back. He must have. He was 15. Now, why is this 30 year old? Why would like one thing is why would any twenty eight year old person wanna have sex with a fifteen year old child and get pregnant by this child? Well, like I said, she's thirty now. The boy is seventeen now, and they got a four month old child. The police said that she's looking up to fifteen years in prison. Like, hold up. If she's looking up for 15 years in prison, why ain't her ass in, in lockup? How come she ended up on the show, Doctor? How come she ended up on the Doctor Phil show? How come? The evidence. Look, one thing is, her, uh, this woman and her victim are are engaged to get married. He's 17 years old. Dude, you don't know what the fuck you want. You're 17. Her fiance name is TJ, but I think he's dumb as hell. And second thing about it is, another thing about it is, that the evidence, you say, the evidence, like, if she goes to trial, and she sits there and says, I'm innocent, oh, I love him, they're going to look at that and say, you know what, jail, prison, lock up 15 years you got sex with the minor the evidence is right there that baby that baby is the is the evidence right there that boy ain't gonna know what the hell to do cause this dude sitting up there a father at 17 years old don't know what the fuck he's doing well I forgot parents don't give a fuck oh well enough about their kids because one thing is the boy's the boy's father well the the boy lied to his father and his stepmom about this woman the boy lied about her being uh, 18 or 23 but I feel so I feel more pissed off about the parents because one thing is they didn't call the police. They didn't do anything. Until the last minute. Now you, your son's got a child by this woman. And now they wanted to step in and say something. The stepmother calls this woman a pedophile. Amen. Hallelujah. And, um, and... It's just, it's just some shit, man. I say, this, I say this: if this good woman don't get, gets fifteen, years, if this woman doesn't get fifteen years in prison, I, just, I really do think they need to change the, what is it, the pledge of allegiance, so to, from uh, justice for all to justice for some. Actually, I got that over here tonight from justice to all to justice to some. Because there's been people, there's been kids that's been molested and had sex with older people, had uh, p older people over the age of 21, minors. Minors. And half of them went to prison for child molestation, statutory rape so on and so forth but you look at some that can walk away from right like that teacher up in Kentucky that had 
had sex with a 16 year old and she was married and got away with it like I said they need to change the Pledge of Allegiance from justice to all to justice for, for some because that's all it is in this country is that people are getting away with this oh I forgot in that last video I did last night I said like the video I said last night was y'all don't get y'all don't give a fuck cause y'all too damn busy wanna bitch and complain about Obama that's how it is let your kids go to jail for crimes they didn't commit you let your kids get molested and raped by their teachers and preachers cause the parents are sitting at home wanting to Obama and Peach. This woman gets gets pregnant by a seventeen year old, and all y'all care about is Obama. How did we get this far in society where How do we get this far where every parent in the country cares more about the president than they do their own kid? Woman has sex with a minor and y'all are bitching about Obama. I think he needs to be impeached. If you quit, you be. Look, this, I'm going to say it right here, right now. If the if everybody quit your bitching about President Obama, if you quit worrying about him because his fucking name or where he's from, I worry about your kids more than you worry about him. If you can't, if you spend all your attention, spend all your attention and your time worrying about what Obama does, then that means you don't give a shit what your kids do. Because it's people like this girl Menendez, uh, uh, Melissa Hernandez having sex with minors and getting pregnant by them. See, she already got two kids by a previous marriage. She got two boys by a previous marriage. But she has a little girl by a, six, uh, a minor, 17-year-old. Let's say it right there that we live in a society where more and more of this happens every day, but people want to complain about the president of the United States. Like I said, it seems like they care more about their president than they do their own kids. Now the father of the son, now the father of the son of the victim knew about this. Like, dude, why ain't you call the fucking popo? Why didn't you call the police? Why did Why didn't you call the police? Why didn't you sit up there and do something, man? If your son was getting molested, like this is funny how how they met. See, this is why I always say, watch what you say and do over the internet, because you don't know who the hell. Who, who the hell they are who the hell these people are over the internet you don't you don't know who you messing with over the internet they met over the internet he told her that he was 18 which was a lie and don't you know that boy was he wanted to go to get, get into the army and <laughs> get into the army he wanted to get into the army 
you want to, if he gets in time to the army and get, and then after that for a while, be in the army for a while, and then he gets out, he wants to be popo. He wants to be a police officer. How are you going to be a police officer while your wife, is, while the woman you love is breaking the law? This TJ kid wants to be a police officer and a soldier from the army, but he wants to sit up there and have sex with him. You can't be a let's say like this: you can't be a police officer if I. You can't be a police officer if you sat there and you're under and you was underage and you had sex with somebody that's a pedophile. Cause that's being a fucking hypocrite. When you put on that badge, that badge means protect and serve everyone. And I don't think that the army wants to take a kid that does that dropped out of school. Well, the dad, well, the, my mistake, the dad did try to stop the situation from the beginning, but it's like this, though, man. It's 2012, and people bitching about the president. Wait the fuck up. Your kids ha getting having sex with a fucking adult. That's all it is. Your kids having sex with an adult. Your kids are going to jail for a crime they didn't commit. That's stupid. And that's how it is. I, I'm more... It's just, I don't get this, man. It's it's like a big, massive headache every day, man, that, parent, that this goes on. Every time you pick up a newspaper, every time you turn on the TV to watch the news, it's the same thing. Some adult, somebody over the age of 21 is having sex with somebody under the age of 18 and ain't nobody doing nothing except sitting on their ass. It's like, ain't that a shame? Look, I know them people sitting up there being an ass, knowing that they could have helped it. It's just... It's so retarded, man, that this, today's society is getting to the point. I give up on people, man. Like I said, like Chief Bill Espy said, because I got, like I said, I got this term from uh, here tonight. He said, uh, Chief Gillespie said, Why don't you, they need to change the Pledge of Allegiance to uh, justice for all to justice for some because that's what it is I meant to say that on the other video too but I just but but it's like this though when, you, when you're like, and one thing is parents there's some parents that know about about their kids having sex with with, uh, with an adult With the with the adults and don't do nothing about it. Like it is it, it, has it got to a point where has it got to a point where where the, the parents don't give a damn about their kids? Like why do you even have kids? That's the question. Why do people even have kids oh we love oh we want to have kids you want to have kids but you want your kids to have sex with somebody over the age of 21 and be raped and molested in school and getting put in jail for crimes they didn't com they didn't commit that's how it is man people are so stupid I, I, 
it just it just bullshit on her. This woman is sitting up on the doctor. Like I said, this woman is sitting on Dr. Phil's show. And she should be in jail. The boy need to get his ass whipped. Oh, I'll wait for her if she goes to prison. Motherfucker, you gonna find you another woman to have sex with. You already got one kid. Do you really want another one at a young age? Dropped out of school and you ain't got no fucking education. You ain't got no education, so you you just a dumb piece of shit. You gonna have your daddy? Is he gonna have his daddy to take care of his baby? If she, like one thing, like I said, this Melissa Hernandez really do need to go to jail. And it happened in Port. Newport, Richie, Florida. Damn, that happened in Florida. See? <laughs> it makes no sense. It happened in Newport, Richie. It happened in Florida. I don't know. It just... I just... I don't get it. Just I don't get it. I just, it's just a headache. It, it's just a big ass headache. It's just a big ass headache. And guess what? Uh, they just, oh, they just need to lock this bitch up and get it over with. I know she's cute and fine and all, but damn, for real. If if the, if they don't lock her ass up, you might as well. It's like yes, if they don't lock her ass up, you might as well. You might as well let a pedophile become a teacher. At an elementary school, because that's what they're doing. Because as long as you sit up, it's just I, I just don't get. It. It's just it's just a headache. It's just a headache like hell, because people will care more about what the president's doing than what their own child is doing because it's, it's bullshit. Just bullshit. I can't believe that this woman. They they said she. They said she. If she's convicted, she'll spend 15 years in prison. Hurry the fuck up. The evidence is getting older. Plus, said, what evidence? Well, she had a kid by the. She had a child by the victim. So the so the evidence is getting older. The damn thing is the the baby is four months old and you sit up here and they sit up here letting this thing letting the baby get older. By the time that child hits eighteen, it'd be too damn late. But it's like his dog, man. To me she needs to be locked up. The justice system needs to stop being such so fucked up where people wanna mm, That's how it is. It's just, it's just bullshit all around. Well, this has been Afro Joe Ten. Like a TIS. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel CeeLo Jr. Two CeeLo Jr. Three. Tell me what you think about this situation. Like I said. If, like I said before, they need to change the Pledge of Allegiance to justice for all to justice for some. Because if she walks out, half the people are getting, half the people in this country is getting half justice.
because only half the populate half of the people who's been molested and raped by child molesters half of them get convicted the other half are still walking the street raping and molesting kids again because the court system and justice doesn't want to work right oh she's 17 she, he's still under the age of eight, 18 still considered as a minor in some states So they need to get to work, man, and fix that problem where, yeah. Ended up on the Dr. Phil show. Ain't that about a bitch? Then she goes on Dr. Phil, try to place the victim. And he outs her. He says, you're not the victim. You're the, uh, like, you're the criminal or something like that. He's like, and I was like, hell yeah. I, like, if she didn't want to get it get attacked not not attacked but if she didn't want to hear hear the truth from Dr. Phil bitch don't go on this show that's the stupid part if you didn't want to hear if you didn't want to hear the, if you didn't want to get your ass handed to you by Dr. Phil don't go on this show cause she's gonna do it like I said this has been uh, Afro Joe Tell like T.I. is again follow me on t Twitter Tumblr and subscribe to my channel. Peace, love, and Afro Grease. All plus, don't put the story in the description box. Peace.